Okay, we just finished filming our how-to video on the Ohouse Aviator 7000 price computing scale. And that's something that we're offering to any customer that makes a purchase from us. Uh, we'll throw that how-to video in uh, for free and that can give you a, a great uh, jump start into how, how to use your scale and how to go through some of the different examples and uh, can, can really be a, a time saver to uh, help you get started you know, using the, uh, the new Aviator 7000. Um, I'll just kind of list off some of the pros and cons as, as I see it. Um, overall I thought that the dual range capability that it has is something that's uh, becoming more and more popular in the industry for, for retail scales and I thought that was a, a nice addition to this model. The, the keypad they've got is a new, a new type of keypad. It's, uh, I thought it was nice. It uh, has kind of a protective cover on it. I thought that was good. The scale has uh, what they call ergo grips on the side which helped, helps you to have something to hold on to when you're carrying it. Um, the opportunity to have battery power a choice I think is, is kind of a unique thing on this scale because uh, it can pop, be powered by either rechargeable batteries or regular alkaline D cell batteries and just at the flip of a switch so I thought that was kind of a, a, a nice feature uh, it can be connected to a point of sale or a printer but uh, it can be connected to a point of sale which is uh, a unique thing and then also there's a compartment on the bottom of the scale that you can actually place the AC adapter into so that you won't lose it so all of those things I thought were real positives for that scale um, as far as my negatives with the scale the, the thing that stood out to me was I mentioned the point of sale con connectivity that, that it has but yet the scale doesn't display weight in ounces so, <clears throat> so I thought that was you know, I thought that was unfortunate. I think a lot of people, if they're connecting it to a point of sale system, they'd like it to display ounces. Um, so I thought that was, I thought that was disappointing. At least at the time of this video, it doesn't do ounces. They, they may change that at some point. I don't know. And then the other thing that I thought was disappointing, oh, actually not disappointing, but just in my opinion, the they added a set, another line to the display to show the tear weight and so now you have four different lines of information on the scale display and I felt like in some instances that's almost like a little bit of information overload and especially when you look at the back of the scale the customer side of the scale and they've now got four different blocks of, of information and it just you know it, on one hand it's a positive because it's more information that you can that you can use but you know I just think it's a little bit of overkill sometimes when you just look at it because there's now so there being three blocks of, of weight information now there's four blocks so that's just my opinion on it uh, but overall I thought the scale was really good it weighed very accurately and I think uh, I have no problem recommending the scale to virtually any of our customers so that's that's my summary of it I think it's a solid scale and as I mentioned earlier this uh, we just finished shooting a how-to video on the aviator 7000 if you purchase a scale from us uh, we'll throw that in for free and it's uh, probably about a, I'm not sure we haven't kind of edited it down yet but it's probably about a 15 15 minute 20 minute type video so it'll, it'll walk you through step by step how to use the scale. And so we encourage you to uh, take advantage of that and uh, we can get one of those shipped out to you very quickly. And uh, we appreciate your business and please stay tuned for more of these scale review and scale overview videos in the coming months. Our first example is just the standard normal way that you use a price computing scale and that is by just placing your items on the scale. In this case we'll put a couple of apples on the scale and we'll say that they're three dollars a pound and 
as you can see the scale tells us that the customer owes you a dollar seventy two cents and as you can see each of the items here we've got the the item weight here the total weight that's on the scale the dollar per pound that we entered and then here's what the customer owes you and this same information is also over here on the back side on the customer side of the uh, scale also so that's the basic operation of the scale and we take the items off the scale and you can see everything cleared out of the display and so that's the normal way that you would use the scale and you could do it you could use it this way for virtually all your transactions however you could if you had say some apples for example that you that you ring up on the scale quite often you could save the information in the scale so that it might eliminate some keystrokes uh, over the course of the day at the market and so in this example we'll look at creating a PLU or a price lookup so the way that we do that is we enter the price which we just did a minute ago and we'll just stick with the same one and we'll just say it's three dollars a pound and then we'll choose a PLU number that we want to save this as and so what we'll do is we'll press and hold the PLU button and you can see that it uh, had a long beep and then there's a, a P up in the left corner of the display and we'll just say it's uh, PLU number 44 and the scale saved it and so now when we have this customer come up and, and they're going to buy the apples instead of entering the price per pound all we need to do is place the items on the scale and then press the 44 that we saved it as and hit PLU okay the next thing we're going to look at is the change function and this is kind of a, a new feature that the Ohouse Aviator 7000 offers and I actually like this I think it's a nice feature that a lot of people um, probably can take advantage of and, and maybe speed speed things up and it's just kind of a neat neat feature that to have with your scale and of course you know you can do it in your head you can do it with pen and paper or a calculator but you know it's nice to have it with your scale also and so to do this we'll just go ahead and pretend we're doing a transaction so we'll put a couple of apples up here put three apples we'll say they're three dollars a pound and so the transaction is two dollars and sixty four cents so now the customer needs to pay you for the apples so what happens is we press the change button and then we need to enter the customer's payment and let's say they pay us with a ten dollar bill so we enter ten dollars and then we press the fix key and the scale tells us that we owe our customer change of seven dollars and thirty six cents and we press the C button to get out of that function and the next example we're going to take a look at is the fixed unit price when you normally use the scale whenever you enter a price per pound it will automatically clear itself out after you place the items on the scale and then take them off in this case with the fixed unit price it's going to stay in the scale until you remove it yourself the benefit of this is basically for pre-packing and uh, things like that where you're constantly you know, using the same item over and over again. So let's take a look at the example. And we'll just put a container on the scale and we'll tear that off. And we'll put, uh, we'll put our three apples in here. and we'll say again we'll say that they're three dollars a pound 
and then we're going to press the fix key and it's very very small print down here but it'll say fix and so now that's locked into the scale and so now when we take the uh, the apples out notice the three dollars per pound stays in and you can see it on the display and we put the apples back and we'll do it again and it, notice it stays on the scale so that's the benefit of having the fix function set on the scale and when you're finished you just press the fix key again and you're back to the normal weighing mode well, we really appreciate you watching our how-to video on the Aviator 7000 price computing scale. And we appreciate your business and we hope that this scale works out really well for you for many years.